Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Anna Manuel with Big Fox News. The Big Flats Town Board is considering selling Somerset Park to save money. But not everybody is happy about that. Officials say they're going to have to raise taxes to keep maintaining it. Officials held a public hearing last night to discuss the idea. Now, despite there being no playground or other amenities, many argued the park is an asset. No word yet on when the town board will make a decision. Officials say residents will be informed before any final vote is made. Bradford County officials are awaiting the results of an autopsy done today in the death of a Gillette man. 25 year old Justin Ray Laudenslager was found in an apartment in Canton yesterday morning. His death is being called drug related. An appeal is denied for the man convicted of killing an Elmira couple in a DUI related crash. Rochester Graves killed Ryan and Karen English on Route 328 back in March of 2013. Grays was convicted in 2015 and he tried to appeal a sentence of 21 to 47 years. His defense team tried to challenge blood tests and other evidence. The Pennsylvania Superior Court upheld his sentence. Donald Trump tells the Wall Street Journal he thinks that upstate New Yorkers should move to places like Wisconsin, Iowa or Colorado for better job prospects. His comments come after the company Foxconn, the iPhone supplier, said it will open a Wisconsin plant for Apple. It brings upwards of 10,000 jobs to that area. And Trump said things just aren't working in upstate New York and says people should just leave their homes behind and go elsewhere. Some parts of the area saw more rain and on top of that, there is more on tap. It's really what we don't need, right? Meteorologist Kim Walker is in next though with your Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, good evening, everyone. We had some light rain across the Twin Tiers, but it looks like those clouds really stuck around. It looks like most of the rain, though, is ending, but there is that off chance of an isolated shower or two in the overnight. It will be cloudy and it will be cool tomorrow. And then as we make our way uh, toward your weekend, it looks like partly sunny skies. It will be breezy and it will be cool for your Saturday, but I think uh, lots of sunshine will be returning on Sunday and it's going to be a little bit warmer and a lot more comfortable. Today, our high, despite the cloud cover, did climb up to around 78 degrees, a little bit cooler in Binghamton at 73, 74 in Ithaca, 79 degrees in Watkins Glen, and in Bath it was 78 degrees. So a little bit warmer though as we head to uh, the west and south, 80 degrees in Corning and also in Mansfield. So for tomorrow, high pressure will start to move in from the Great Lakes. It will send winds coming in from uh, the north and so it's a cool wind and it's going to be a little bit drier. So I think our humidity by the weekend will start to decrease. Most of the rain will be moving off to our south as that low pressure system continues to move away from our area as well. So here's a look at your forecast for tonight. It's going to be overcast, 60 degrees. It will be a little bit on the humid side, and then a few isolated thunderstorms can be possible. For tomorrow, our highs will be a little bit cooler, around 74 degrees in the afternoon, a little bit more clouds as well, and a few thunderstorms could be possible, maybe just a shower or two as we make our way into the afternoon. And then on your Saturday, Saturday. Expect mostly cloudy conditions. Again, there could be an isolated shower or two, but then by Sunday, lots of sunshine. It will be nice. It won't be quite as humid. Temperatures around 77 degrees. And then as we make our way into early next week, we are going to warm up back to into the 80s. Uh, lots of sunshine, but it looks like maybe just a few clouds that will be moving in and out of our sky. Our high on Wednesday will be around 84 degrees, partly sunny skies, and it looks like the humidity will return as another system comes our way. We do have chances of rain on your Thursday, and because of the rain, temperatures will be a little bit cooler as we drop down to around 80 degrees, which is about seasonable for this time of year. But the next couple of days is going to be a little bit cooler. Uh, we're going to stay in the 70s for the most part this weekend, and I think by Sunday, though, we'll see a lot more sunshine. Mm -hmm. And these temperatures are very comfortable. Very comfortable. Yeah, I think we're the envy of many. Yes, for sure. Thanks, Kim.
Well, from police officers to college basketball players, it seems no one can resist taking part in the latest online challenge sweeping the country. It's the hashtag drive by dunk challenge. OK, so it involves people driving around a neighborhood, getting out of a car, then slam dunking a basketball into someone's outdoor hoop. Well, young basketball stars Grayson Allen and Trevin uh, Duvall of Duke University and Terrence Mann of Florida State University have been the latest big names to take part. Such challenges have grown quickly online following the spread of the Ice Bucket Challenge and, of course, the Mannequin Challenge in the last few years. So, yeah, that looks like pretty fun. <laughs> it does look like a good time. But, you know, with the Ice Bucket Challenge, it was for a good cause. So maybe right. there's some way to parlay this into some kind of charity as well. That and would I would really like it. Good idea. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for joining us on Big Fox News. We hope you have a wonderful evening.